What's up, you guys? It's Trish. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to brush my teeth. I did a lot today. I weighed myself this morning. I got myself about 10 glasses of water because I've been so dehydrated. Um, I'm trying to pick up my house a little bit, but I have maids and also my sister coming over to help me because my house is cuckoo because I've been gone for about a week on the internet, which is really cr Well, for me, I was like, that's not that big of a deal. Like, people that post for a week. But I forget it's me and that I usually don't have a life and I post constantly throughout the day. I usually post, like, five Instagram, like, posts a day and, like, 20 stories and tweeting and YouTube and Patreon and OnlyFans. And, like, I know I'm, like, usually everywhere, somewhere, right? I'm usually somewhere on the internet, right? And um, I was like, eh, you know what? It's like that in between time. It was like after Christmas, before New Year's. It's like it's fine. Everyone's, everyone's off. No one's paying attention. I mean, no one really pays attention, like to me, like that. I don't feel on the internet. I don't. I didn't feel anyway. I was like it's fine. But then you know, like this weekend. My sister was like, even like, okay, people are like DMing me, like, what? Are you good? Like, I talk to my sister every day and my mom and stuff, so obviously they know I'm good. But she's like, if people are like DMing and they're like worried. And like, it's like a double edged sword being worried about. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay, well, I'm like 31, I'm like alive, like, <laughs> it's annoying, like, there's no signs that you need to worry about me. Um, but on the other hand, it's like really nice to be probably really awful if no one worried about me, so. I'll go ahead and take that as a positive. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, whew, okay, where do I even start? Ah. So, the holiday season is never my favorite because <laughs> I'm usually just by myself and I'm, like, a big loser and I watch everyone else, like, post and I was like, all right, just be by myself and think of new content for my Patreon, you know? Like, that's usually how I spend my holidays or whatever. And my Christmas was fine. My, you know, Christmas Eve I spent with my mom. Christmas Day I just went with my dad. Like, it's very, very small. It's literally just my mom, my sister, and me, Christmas Eve. Christmas Day is my dad, my Uncle Joe, my stepmom, and me. So it's, like, very, very small. We literally just go to restaurants. It's nothing amazing. It's just going to, out to dinner, basically. Um, but, you know, it's the holidays. We celebrate it with our families. Oh, we love. <coughs> it was fine because then, like, the day after Christmas, we went to New York. That was so much fun. I had so many vlogs. Vlogmas is over now, isn't it? <laughs> I felt like that. Um, I got to go to the behind the backstage at Beetlejuice, which was so much fun. Oh my god, I felt like such a little kid. I felt kind of like stupid. I'm like, I'm 31, but like, this is really cool. <laughs> it was really fun. That was a cool experience. The whole cast was really, really nice. Um, so, shout out Adam Danheiser. He plays Charles Dietz in Beetlejuice. Um, <clears throat> he had got me the hookup, so thank you. He's amazing and is so kind and sweet. And uh, he's actually literally one of my favorite characters in the show. Um, it's the whole ensemble so good. They're just so good. But he's you know he's so funny. I don't know. They're all funny. Anyways, um, that's the thing, man. Comedic timing with singing too. Like having those like amazing voices. Like it's one thing to have an amazing voice, right? You're born with an amazing voice, but to have like a look to go with it, and then also to have like the comedic timing of like you know, delivering dialogue, like, that's, that really is, like, a triple, quadruple threat, because they all kind of dance, too, so, it's amazing, I don't know, I wish I had any of that talent, even one of those, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that was really fun, my friend Jeff came out to New York, he lives in Boston, so he flew into New York and surprised me, and I was, like, really, really excited, so we actually, he was only going to stay a night, and he ended up spending both nights with us, and we saw Tootsie the second night, Tootsie was... Not that great, which is weird. I know everyone's like, oh my god, I won two Tonys this year, which is why I wanted to see it. The guy who played Tootsie beat out Alex Brightman for Beetlejuice. So you guys know how I feel about Beetlejuice, obviously. And I was like, well, this guy must freaking blow him out of the water if he won the Tony. <clears throat> Didn't. I I'm not saying that'd be like mean either, because like obviously everyone on Broadway is freaking talented. I mean, the guy was amazingly talented, obviously. I don't know if it was the writing, I don't know if it was the songs. The songs were not catchy. <laughs> I couldn't tell you one song, one sort of bop, one sort of hmm, 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 you know, I don't, I don't know, and that never happens, because I have a really good memory, so I can always remember like a couple lines throughout a show, like even if it's the first time seeing like Beetlejuice, right away I remember, creepy old guy, creepy old guy, like <clears throat> it's very, 
they had really catchy songs. So I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's closing now, so I guess no one knows. But so, <clears throat> so anyways, Sunday happens. Mm, okay. So Sunday comes and um, I never check my DMs ever, and I had gotten a DM a while ago, like. Um, not a while, maybe like a few weeks before, and um, from this guy, and I was like, oh, he's cute. And I was like, I never, and I never get DMs, like I'm never like from guys like that. You know what I mean? Like I get like, I get people who like watch my videos, but I'm like, this guy doesn't look like he watches my videos. <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know. I was, you know, I was so lonely, you guys. Oh, I've been doing really, really good. Like I really have been. Like I've been so freaking happy. Like I was. I was even telling him when he came, I was like, you know, I've really been happy. It was just these past couple weeks. I was like, I got kind of depressed. And I think it was loneliness in the holidays. And that happens to me every holiday season. So I was like, oh my God, like I got, I was getting really depressed. So he had like DM me at like a good time because we had talked for like hours and hours and hours a day, like from the day that he DM me. So it was like someone like he just talked to all the time. Like, um, you know, I, like even in New York, I would like rush back, like, <clears throat> after dinner or whatever if they were gonna go out for drinks i'm like you know what? i'm gonna stay in for a minute and then it ended up being like they'd come back at 4 a.m like my sister and jeff and i was like still on the phone <laughs> like so i just you know what i mean like that's like it's a break it's rare for me to like be excited to talk to someone it's really it's really rare like i don't and i don't know it doesn't make any sense the people that i'm excited to talk to like i think about the people i've been excited to talk to in the past i'm like i don't know they're all so different and do different things and i, I don't know um what was kind of cool about this person is like we're born the same year, which I've actually, aside from Shane, who was born 88 too, like I've never really hung out with someone like the same age as me. And um, I was like, so it's like cool. Like it's such a, it's such a different type of person to talk to, like a different guy to talk to when they're like the same age. You guys know I mostly date people like, I mean, I'm not 10 years older, 15 years older, 20 years older, I'm not dating. I'm just saying talking to when I'm like excited about a guy they're usually tend to be 15 years older or whatever so um <clears throat> so I was like just ex excited I was like weird I don't know and uh the coolest thing was he asked so many questions about me I thought that was so cool I was like no one ever has questions about anyone in LA people just I don't know they just don't care oh, it's so good water is so good oh uh. I have not been drinking enough water, so I am taking it down. I think it's helping my skin a little bit too. This is this is so long. I'm sorry. I haven't. This is so weird. I have been trying. You can even ask him. Like I've been trying to do a video like all week. Like and there's been time. There's I've gotten ready. I'm like I'm gonna do a video. I gotta put a video out today. This is like so weird. To, like be doing a video. Um. So yeah. So anyways, we just like whatever. We like talked and like. I just got along like you know what I mean like I don't know you just you just get excited and I'm excited to hear about him and like he, you know he asked about me so I was like this is cool um so yeah I don't know you guys know me when I'm freaking like intense I get like I get like intense about something when I get like a, a, obsessed sounds so creepy and weird if I get like a I guess obsessed addicted like I, I you guys I'm I'm someone that's like I need all of you I need you right now <laughs> I'm just that I've always been that person and that's never been a good thing in any of my relationships or anything so I you think I would learn but also whatever so um, when I was in New York and I was like I was like drunk one night or whatever and I was like come to New York <laughs> you know whatever because you just get like I just like you know you love that like feeling of someone like caring like wanting to know about you and like asking how you're doing and stuff and so it's like this is like I miss this I haven't had that in so long you know I'm like wow it's so weird to have someone like text me and like call me I don't know that sounds so pathetic. <laughs> like someone pays attention to me. I'm like, you. <laughs> I'll take you. Um, so anyways. Uh, yeah, anyways. The next day we was going back to LA. And I'm like, you should come. You should come. You should come. To LA. And like, he came. And I was like, kind of shook. Because I don't know any other person in the world besides me that would be that crazy to like come on a plane the next day. Like literally that Saturday night. We were like, okay, come this, come tomorrow. I knew what time I was getting home, and so we kind of like coordinated it that we'd be like at the airport at the same time. So. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, so I picked him up at the uh, airport, and um, which also tells you I'm excited because usually I was like, how much you Uber? But no, I was really excited. And yeah, I was like really, I was like nervous. Okay, I'm not gonna tell like all the details. I'm not like, it's not one of those videos because like I, I'm, I'm just kind of like telling you kind of the build up and then kind of just, it's gonna fall flat because there's not much else to say really. But um, but no, I was definitely nervous. I was like, oh, this is kind of weird actually. Because <laughs> like I've never met someone off like DMs ever, have I? No, I mean, I feel like if I met someone online it's probably through Bumble or something, but definitely not through DMs. Um, I got really nervous all of a sudden. I was like, wait, my, I seem a lot cooler and funnier online, I'm sure. So this is probably going to be hella awkward. Okay, so, so I, I pick him up and um, he had like this little dog, which I was like nervous about because <laughs> I get nervous about dogs. But the dog actually ended up being my favorite part, which is so weird. It's so weird because I just, even my own dog like hates me. Like dogs don't like me. And this dog, like I remember one night, <laughs> one night I was drunk or something like in the kitchen. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't crying. Like, I wasn't like upset. I was just like crying. I guess I was like emotional. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It honestly, it was like nothing bad. I was just like, <laughs> it was like literally four in the morning. It was like so late. And um, his his dog like comes up to like look at me and like see if I'm okay. You could just tell by like his little face. And then he like, he just sits his butt down and like looks. I said, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this was. And then he kind of like laid on his belly to like be, and then he would like look up. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, this dog's not only scared of me, he wants to be around me, even when I'm sad. I'm like, this is what I need. <laughs> this is what I need a man, I need a dog. Uh, which I know, I had a dog, but my dog, trust me, like, my dog did not like me. He runs from me to this day, and he, like, tries to bite me, and, like, anyways. Um, so. Well, Sunday was like the day, whatever. So that's the last day I posted, basically. It was a week ago from yesterday. Oh my God, that was so long ago. Was that like the 28th or something? Damn. Literally, we just like went out because I was like, let's go out. Like, you know, because... Okay, oh, the other thing is, is I was like, oh, I was telling you because I don't want to be alone on Hot Days. It's like, oh, this is like perfect. I was like, come out for New Year's Eve. Like, I have no one to be with on New Year's Eve. Like... I'm like, I'm, I'm very, very straightforward with guys. I'm like, I know I sound like pathetic, but like I've always alone on New Year's Eve and I just want to be alone on New Year's Eve. So that was like kind of the whole premise too of him like coming out because I was like, I really want, because I have like places to go and I, I don't mind going by myself, but like, mm, you always know you just want like a cute picture or something on New Year's Eve. I never have those ever. I was like, oh no, not this year. I'm going to be cute. I got a cute outfit. Like, it's going to be a cute picture. Well, <laughs> not even New Year's Eve, it was three days before New Year's Eve. I was like, we were out at, oh, we went to like clubs in LA. And we literally were only out for not even that long, like a couple hours or whatever. And, um, and yeah, my friend just took a picture of us and I was like, oh, they're cute. Like, I was like, so cute. And then, I don't know, I was like drunk again. And I was like, let's just post. And for the record, he was like hesitant to post. And I think he was like, I don't know. He's not like a social media person. So, I mean, he is and isn't, but like he's not like someone to like post everything and stuff like that. And I was just like, I don't know. I don't think anything of it because I post with every single person I'm with. Like if I'm with Jeff, if I'm with whoever I'm with, I post with, you know, I, and I, I mean, there's always comments like even with Jeff and I'm like, we're not dating and people are like, they're dating or whatever. And it's like, mm, I guess people just always assume, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's like the internet, whatever. But I was like, eh. It's fine. It'll be like a couple comments or whatever, but who cares? I'm like, yeah, right, I don't care. So like we posted and the captions were a lot. They were a, a little crazy, but I was, I was, I was gone down when I posted, but uh, I was like, ooh, okay. So anyways, we posted and like, honestly, didn't even look at the phones for the rest of the night or whatever. And then the next day was freaking shit storm. And I was like, what the, like I, I've been good at, I, oh, I don't know how I get into dramas by just living my life. I'm not in anyone else's lane. I'm not coming for anyone. I don't say anything about anyone. I literally just like live my life and I'm like find myself like, oh, Trisha's drama again. Like, I'm not. Like, oh my God, because I posted a picture with somebody. Like, oh my God, it was like so, so crazy. Oh my God, it's like, it's insane. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, I, who did I post a photo with? He was like, actually like married or something it was a couple months ago and uh, no one even talked about that they're like oh 
I don't know, Chris Angel or whatever. Anybody, like nobody, <coughs> no one like cared. I don't know. The internet is a weird place because it's freaking weird. There was no drama, no scandal. Like I was, he's single, I was single. Like it was, it's so weird. I was, it was so confusing and I was so like sick to my stomach from it because like he was fine with it. He was like, it's fine, it's whatever. And like, and I was like fine or whatever, but I was like, all right, we're just like, I'm not posting anymore on the internet for the rest of the year, which was only like two more days left. I was like, this is so weird. I just, it just is weird. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Sometimes like they're, they're, the only other drama that I can, drama that I can relate to this is the Nikocado drama I was in where like I ghosted him. I was like, why is this even news? Like I just didn't text someone back. Like what? <laughs> I mean, that took on a whole, <laughs> that took on a whole spin of its own, but um, yeah, so I was like, okay, so whatever. Monday, we're just like, well, whatever. We'll just <laughs> not look on the phones. That was just weird. I was like, whatever, though. I was like, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, God, I hate when people, like, crucify me for nothing, doing no literally nothing. Like, literally hanging out with someone and taking a picture. Like, it's, it's like, crazy. Like, that's stuff. Anyways, so... So then Tuesday, I got really sick. So this Tuesday was Tuesday New Year's Eve? Tuesday was New Year's Eve. So Tuesday, I got really nasty sick, like gnarly sick. Like, I think I had the flu, really. I was like a stove, basically. Like, I was so hot. And so I think that, like, really is why I'm dehydrated. It took so much, like, fluids out of me. <clears throat> I got really, really sick. And, like, I really, like, and he had packed clothes to go out with me for New Year's Eve. And I just really wanted to go. I was like, we had so many, like, different places we could we were, like, invited to. <laughs> and I was like, I really want to go out because, like, that's the whole point, right? Mm -mm, it was not happening. I was like shaking. I was like, and I was hot. I was sweaty. It was, it was really nasty. Um, and he was, he was so freaking nice. Oh my god, just so nice. Like, literally, just did everything for me. I felt so bad because, like, oh my god, like, we just met, and it's like <laughs> you're like having to take care of me sick on this couch. Like, it was, it was. Um, I mean, watched movies and stuff, which was nice. It was just nice. It was just nice. Whatever. Anyways, I'm not gonna like share any more like detailed details. We just spent like the rest of like the week together. We went home yesterday, and then like, um, it was really nice. It was just nice to like have someone here. Like, it's cool. Like, I love my house so much, and like I recently moved in here, and like sometimes I do get really, like, really lonely. Like the thing, this is why I always hated big houses, and when I lived in a big house before by myself, and I hated it, was because I felt so lonely in it. Like. Like, it's nice to have nice things and a beautiful view and a pool, but, like, it's it's only so much fun to enjoy it by yourself for a while. Like, after a couple weeks, you're just like, all right, can someone else come enjoy this with me? Like, you know, I don't know. It's, like, kind of sad, I guess. I don't know. So, it was, like, fun. It was just fun. And, like, to, like, he was he doesn't really know LA that much. So it was, like, really cool. Like, show him the girl for the first time. And, like, um, I don't know. It was fun, I guess, just to, like, have someone here. Um... And like we just watched a bunch of movies because I was like sick for a while for a couple days, and then we were finally able to go out the last couple nights, and that was like fun. Um, but yeah, we went to a, to a couple different places. Yeah, I mean, basically the majority of the week was just spent like chucking Pedialyte and like watching. What did we watch? Oh, we watched like The Sandlot, <laughs> Little Giants, Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Like we watched those kind of movies, which was like he likes kind of dark movies. Sometimes like he tried to show me that monster movie, and I was like, oh my god, like I couldn't watch it. Like oh. But, um, yeah, so that was it. I mean, that's where I've like, been. And I, I just, I don't know. I guess I also was just, like, enjoying, like, time with, like, a real person. <laughs> that sounds so weird. It sounds so sad. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm so, I'm so hyper work focused. Like, I love, I do love working. Like, trust me, I was getting mad anxiety, like, not posting. Um, so, I mean, yeah. It would never be that long again. I think it was just because, like, with the mix of being sick, and then all of that. I also didn't know. I'm like, I don't want to like address it, but like seriously, there's so many like comments and tweets about it. And I was just like, oh, let me just like talk about it or whatever. But um, yeah, I was like, uh, it was good. It was a good time. Um, also, these are what all I've been eating are soft baked <laughs> sponsored grain bars. I picked these up when I went to CVS. They're like little baby food bars. They're really good. And they're really soft and like light and they're just enough for your tummy. Um, but I, I am gonna do, I have sell all my Christmas presents under my Christmas tree, it's like hella sad. I wanna do what I got for Christmas, but it's literally January 6th. I even missed my YouTube anniversary, January 4th. 
January 4th. 13 years since I've been on YouTube, you guys. 13 years was my, my first video I ever posted. 13 years ago, January 4th, 2007. 13 years, you guys? What? Mmm. Maybe these are made for people with, like, tummy aches. Oh my god, do I look dead? Whoa. Oh. I'm just seeing myself in the viewfinder. I put no lips on. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't wait for the comments on this video. <laughs> this looks crazy. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do. Well, well, thank God I had pre recorded like three, three podcasts with guests. I got, I'm got. i going to try and do that this week too kind of get on a pre-record because I did not think I would be out for this long well I knew like the holidays would be hard to get a guest but I need to start recording again which I love my podcast so much like I'm oh I love it so much I'm getting so excited like I am so excited to like get back into the swing of things and stuff like that and like I said it would never be this long again but mmm What else? I feel like I have so much to update you guys with. I don't know. Mmm. 2020, what's up? Everyone keeps asking me, like, oh, what do you got planned for 2020? That's the scariest question ever because I have nothing. I don't really have anything planned. I don't really have... I have goals. But they're such big goals. I'm like, I don't even know where to start with them. <laughs> they're goals that are so, like, out of my realm or anything I know that I'm like, mmm. A good goal where we'll figure out how to do it i think i have little steps to take to get them oh i finally got okay so i finally got my rebirth shirt i know everyone this took like a month like i ordered mine black friday and i got it like two days after christmas and i was like mm. i finally got it i mean i really like it but i need to figure out the merch thing because <laughs> even the hot girl christmas shirts came after christmas i was like i'm mega annoyed so I need to figure out something with that. But yeah. Has anything even been happening on YouTube? I don't even know. I haven't even opened YouTube itself in like, I don't know, a really long time. <laughs> All right, guys, that's kind of the update. I mean, it's not really an update because nothing really. That's just, like, where I've been. But. Cheers. <laughs> Ice water. It's so freaking good, you guys. All right. That's that. I hope you guys have been a well. I have so many videos, I, like I literally have so many video ideas like written down that I've been wanting to like film and I need to just do that. But I'm gonna get this up now so people know I'm still here. <laughs> Don't forget me. <laughs> All right, I love you guys and I'll see you next video.